Hey everybody, it's Chris Murray and I'm thrilled to be with you in today's training class. I want to dig right in with you on what are the two things that you need to boost your success. I'm calling that the Chris Murray rocket fuel um, that you can use. Two strategies that are the most important things for your marketing and your enrollment building long term that you can use all year long. So I'm going to reveal those two things and give you lots of examples. And but first, I wanted just to let you know there's going to be no slides on this training, so it's just going to be me talking. And um, so listen and be ready to take some notes. So you might want to grab your pad of paper and a pen. And also, if you tend to get interrupted, um, one easy, simple technique that works like a charm to reduce interruptions and get your time back and your life back a little bit in your school is to just put a sticky note on the door that says in a meeting. And uh, go ahead and write out in a meeting on a sticky note if this is an issue for you, because I want you to pay close attention to me for the next 15 minutes and be uninterrupted, okay? Um, so go ahead and do that, put it on your door and shut your door and focus in with me for just a little while. And thank you for taking the time to be here. So um, the first, I I'm gonna share with you the two, the two things. And this is based on a decade of working with early learning centers um, from home-based child care, family child care uh, with six kids all the way up to 26 locations in the Southeast. And I'm going to give you a case study from my client, Nan, who is the owner uh, and founder of Big Blue Marble Academy in the Southeast with 26 locations. And I've been working with her over the last two years. And so I'm going to give you some case studies in here as well that I think you'll find really useful. What's the first component? The first thing that you need for your Chris Murray rocket fuel to fuel your enrollment in your market is social proof. Write it down. Social proof. What do I mean by social proof? So what I see on your websites and your digital, you know, on your Facebook and on your different things that you're doing, ads, flyers, et cetera, out in the community is you guys are not utilizing social proof enough. And simply social proof means that you are, it's, it's stuff that you put out in the marketplace that shows and demonstrates to families that you do a fantastic job. You add value to your clients, whatever your business. And so the elements of social proof that are the strongest are video, using video marketing, like I'm doing right here, and um, demonstrating through video and in person when they come and take your tour that you do a great job, you make transformational impacts on children and families, you have awesome value for what you do at your preschool and um, that parents love you and you're trustworthy. So you might wanna also write down the word trustworthy. So social proof equals trust. It's the proof in the pudding for parents. It's the peace of mind that it's okay to actually call you and look, take a tour and learn more about your preschool. So. Um, social proof elements, again, that are the strongest are video and reviews. And so the first thing that I work with with folks is when I look at their websites is we gather testimonials and reviews and we put those on their homepage and we sp sprinkle them throughout and also to have a reviews button on your menu of your website. And you can't, first of all, they never get old. They never, uh, you can't have too many of them. So don't be worried that you have to like keep them fresh or, um, I mean, you want them to look cute and look, you know, not look dated, but you know, I've been still, I'm, I'm still using testimonials and reviews that I got from people um, five, six, seven years ago because they were so powerful. I mean, Jerry and Jane is a great example. I, mean, I helped them, they use the techniques I'm gonna teach you here, they use to grow from four to 15 centers in Connecticut. And Jerry gave me some beautiful testimonials um, about how great it's been to work with me. And so those are just worth their weight in gold, guys, for you. For you. And so what we're doing is uh, helping you with the checklist of social proof so that you can make sure that you have a system for how to invite people to do reviews consistently number one most important thing is your Google Maps page. And so you wanna get those reviews consistently. To, uh, to do that, and you can incentivize people. You're not to pay re for reviews, but you're 
uh, you can do contests. And so we teach you how to do contests. And some, some other forms of reviews uh, of social proof are um, Facebook Lives. And so doing a Facebook Live like I'm doing shows that you're real, shows that you're authentic, allows you to tell your community cool stuff that you're doing at your school and actually demonstrate what's going on. And you might do one out on the playground, you might do one in your outdoor classroom, you might show some kind of an art event, you might show what's happening in the kitchen with the after schoolers and some cool stuff that they're making with recipes, you might show your farm to table program, you might show, um, uh, so reading to the infants in the baby room and have and them in a circle, uh, getting some brain development and talk about brain development. There's so many things that show you as the expert. And those are all social proof. Also awards that you've received locally or nationally. Accreditations are social proof. Um, a great one is referrals from trusted sources in your community. So if you have pediatricians referring you or um, teachers and professors that use you, uh, you, that send their kids to your school, that's social proof because education experts in the community or respected professionals like doctors are referring you because you do a great job and you take, you have a, your very high quality program and maybe you have a nurse on staff and so the pediatrician really loves that, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So that's social proof. Um, can't have enough of it. It never gets old. It is the basis for trust and for people who will call you because what happens in today's world is that moms, when they're thinking about going back to work or having a baby, they are moving from one town to another. They go online and they look at reviews, just like when we are thinking about booking a hotel or, um, going to a restaurant, we go to TripAdvisor, many of us, and we read those reviews. I know I do. And so that is marketing gold for you. You have you got to have a system for um, constantly asking, inviting people by sending them links through email, having um, posters or or um, you know displays on your counter uh, that give um, that that tell people what you would like them to do. So we are always looking for people who are frequent Yelp folks to give us Yelp reviews. And we are always looking for people and inviting parents who want to help us attract more kids into our program and just do the best job that we can. Please help us out by going here and put the link to our Google Maps page or to our Facebook page and give us um, a review. And we do random draws, we do random gifting. Uh, so it's likely that you might find a gift in your uh, mailbox if you give us a review. We don't pay for reviews, but we do oftentimes give gifts or send flowers as a thank you. And you don't even have to really say that. You can just send gifts and flowers. The whole parent appreciation piece is another whole piece. I won't go into that, to that right now. So again, videos are the strongest. Five-star reviews, written testimonials with a picture of the family, Facebook Lives, um, awards, accreditations, media, um, media coverage, uh, reprints from um, print articles that you were featured, newspaper or magazine, where you were featured as the expert. And you could also write articles for magazines and newspapers. Oftentimes they're looking for experts to write articles and you could do a series of parenting articles and then you can frame those, um, which are awesome and put them on your wall. And that just adds to your expertise and your social proof. And then finally referrals from trusted professionals in your community. So that's the first Chris Murray rocket fuel tip is never forget how important social proof is. You can put it on your voice message. You can put, so just you're reading testimonials of what parents are saying. You can put them on your van, put five-star reviews on the side of your van. You can put them on your signage. You can put them um, all over your marketing and in your e-packets and as part of your tour and on the walls of your school and then on your flat panel TV in the lobby. And, um, and I will give a shout out to Sotellus. We use Sotellus, which is like a trust pilot service. It's a, an app that people can put on their phone. And then if somebody's in your office, like loving you, 
and giving you a parents going, oh my God, I have to tell you about Miss Janie and what she did yesterday for Johnny. Oh my gosh. Then you can simply have so tell us on your phone and you can say, would you mind just hitting the video button and let me do a quick video review of what you just told me? Because that is in amazing and I would we would love for other families to hear that. And Miss Janie, let's give love to Miss Janie. It's about the teachers, guys. And parents will do that for teachers. They want to give love to their teachers. So just allow that to happen by having a system. And we use So Tell Us. Um, you can see how we do that at childcaresuccess.com. There's a ton of new ones that we got from our people. And we know that it's really, really important. So you can use that as a case study um, if you go there and just see the Sotellus window and you can see how they all look. And, and that's really easy because you can sign up for Sotellus at, I don't know, a hundred bucks a month or something. And just, it feeds into your website automatically. So just have a system. The second rocket fuel strategy for your enrollment is differences. It's concrete, unique benefits and features that you talk about and you first you have to identify what's unique about you and your program. What makes you stand out? What makes you special? What makes you different? What makes you unique? And a lot of you are using things that are a little bit nebulous because you get a little stuck around how to pull in concrete benefits and features into your marketing message. And so the um, oftentimes I'll go and I'll, you know, with websites, I'll see, uh, experienced and loving teachers and our curriculum is, you know, what makes us unique. And those are okay, but kind of everybody says that. If you go and you look at 10 early childhood sites, you'll see those are very common and kind of boring. Hate to say it, but it's true. Um, it just seems like it's kind of same old, same old. What I call that is the sea of sameness. And you know, when I first started out as a mom with kids in preschool, I recognized that there was kidding, pretty much they all sounded the same. When you would go and take five tours at preschools, you would leave with the same message, the same, everything was the same. And you couldn't really tell one from the other, you know, I mean, a La Petite versus a kinder care versus a private, you know, program versus whatever. Um, no offense, La Petite and kinder care, but it was just kind of basic and boring from a mom's perspective. And so you got to get clear on your concrete differences that are exciting for you, that are also your brand, your difference, your platform for how you're different and special. And so let me give you a great example, a case study back to Nan. Um, she was just with us last week on the beach presenting her amazing story of zero to 26 locations in six years. And she started out just being inspired by her childhood love of the TV show, Big Blue Marble. And I remember that TV show because I remember you could have pen pals and it would feature kids in the United States with pen pals all over the world. And it would go over to Africa and you would learn about a child over there that, and what did they eat for breakfast and what their life was like and that they had to walk to the stream and with their bucket to get water. And, that was her platform. So her fast forward to her schools, her, her value or her differences, her concrete different, you know, unique benefits and features are three things. It's very simple. It's very easy to remember too, for parents and staff is an international flavor to um, the way that they teach and that they pull in different countries and how different, you know, so they have like an Africa room as infants. And so they celebrate diversity and international flair in different countries throughout their program. So that's the first thing is an international focus. Second thing is Spanish immersion. And so they teach Spanish um, at all the ages and they do Spanish immersion um, as part of their curriculum. And the third thing is give back, community give back. They are very involved in doing projects that help the communities that they're in and doing uh, good works. That's it. That's, that's the three things, easy to remember. So they're concrete, they're adorable, they're fun, they're wonderful, they're heart-centered for parents. And so um, 
it's easy for parents to go, well, what are the differences between the schools we just toured? And so if you're stuck on loving, um, caring teachers and then your curriculum and maybe an accreditation, that's okay, but you can do better. So I'm gonna invite you to think about how you can pull in some more concrete value, such as um, we have the largest, um, coolest natural playground in our area and we do and we have an outdoor classroom and we also have an, a, a farm to table program because the kids do gardening in the summer months so there's an outdoor element that's all this really cool stuff brought in with outdoor education um and then maybe it's uh safety and security is really really important so we have a state-of-the-art secure entrance with biometric keypad so that we make sure that all of the parents that are enrolled, you know, that that people aren't slipping in through the cracks in the mornings. And we have, we're really, really um, focused on safety and security. And so all the bells and whistles. Um, it might be a green thing where you're, you're a green center, you're eco healthy certified, you offer organic meals and um, you have a really solid recycling program and you're, and you try to avoid printing paper, everything's online, that kind of thing. So it's a green focused program, which is very hot right now with the millennials. Um, and there's so many more. It could be that you're, you know, you have an onsite owner who's a mom with kids in the school or the longevity of the program. You've been around the longest and you've been around 35 years and you've got um, moms who are your, the child, so the mom went to your school when she was a child and now she's got kids coming to the school. So it's multi-generational. Um, and we give a whole list in our, in our boot camp and in our trainings, there's a list of like 37 things that you can choose from. But the point is find what speaks to you, look to add value that's unique for your program, make it sizzle. Okay, don't just give us the steak, which is kind of boring. You gotta market the sizzle. And that is a game changer when you get it right. Because if people can leave your school and go, wow, I really felt the differences. I can, I can remember, I experienced them. I saw them in play when I, they were demonstrated to me throughout my tour. Really, really cool. The teachers are talking about it. Um, there's testimonials and reviews of the wall of the school and those, the parents were talking about those same things that they love about that school. So look at your, look at your existing testimonials and reviews from parents. And that might help you, um, if you read those, determine what is special, unique and cool that, that they love most about you, or you can survey them and ask your parents. And sometimes you won't get that good of stuff because it'll just still go back to kind of that generic the loving teachers thing, which of course we love the loving teachers. But what I'm looking for is something more for you, something that's a little bit more of a sizzle, more concrete. So I hope you can use what I gave as examples and understand where I'm trying to take you with that, okay? So, and that's it, those are the two things. If you master those two things, the social proof and the differences and really build those out so that they're very cool and they have sizzle, um, you you will your enrollment will will just get an a boost 24 7. and if you can then take video that talks about those differences so that if it was an outside thing with a playground and outdoor classroom i'd be going outside and showing the learning and the curriculum that is incorporated out there and actually doing lives or videos out there and showing the cool components of the of the playground because that's a selling component for you so let's capture that on some awesome video and let's get parents to talk about it too so that's my that's my training for today um very simple but very powerful so hopefully you took some notes and hopefully you weren't interrupted 